Hey guys, I am here with another grocery haul. I went to Winco today and we spent $161. I'm hoping that it's going to last us most of two weeks and then I'll just do a couple of fill-ins at Albertsons for their sales. I just wanted to give a quick update on how the um, monthly shopping went. And so if you want, you can skip forward to the grocery haul and I'm, I won't be offended. Um, so I would say that going once a month is just a little too much pressure for me. Um, I wasn't able to calculate what we needed completely. And so we ran out of things and that kind of thing. So what I'm planning on doing this month is meal planning and I think that that is going to help because last time I didn't really meal plan and I don't know why because that makes completely no sense on how I think I'm going to make it a whole month um, without meal planning. So I've meal planned for the next two weeks and this grocery haul should get us through to then and like I said I'm going to do the little fill-in hauls at Albertsons or Walmart and that will just be things like whatever's on sale and then a couple of fresh things that we might run out of. So with that being said, here is our Winco grocery haul. So I have my receipt with me. Um, I'm going to try to remember all of the prices here for you because I know that I'm usually interested in that and you guys might be as well. So first of all, we have the oatmeal cream pies. These are the mini ones, and my older son has been eating those with some cheese in the morning for breakfast. And those were $2.24, I think, $2.24. Um, yes, $2.24 each. Then we have the mission tortillas. We have the corn tortillas, and we have 20 flour tortillas and those were 203 for the corn and four sorry 420 for the flour. We have the Cavatappi um, noodles and those are 88 cents each. We always want to stock up on those. The long grain rice I've been having some rice pudding and so that's been kind of nice and then if we just feel like not having brown rice for some reason because we have tons of brown rice and that was a dollar 28 for two pounds I got two pounds of dark brown sugar and this is nice for um, the, the rice pudding and then also for any recipes or on oatmeal and that was a dollar sixty two we have the Winco flour, that's five pounds of unbleached flour, and that was two sixty-seven. dollars That seems a little bit high for me. It seems like it's usually less than that. And then let's see, we got the chips. Is it ever a grocery haul here without the chips? I don't think it could be. So these chips are organic tortilla chips. And those were $2.58 each. They were a green tag, which means that they're on sale. So I decided to get the organic kind instead of the traditional kind that we usually get. We have some Winco Wavy chips back there for my little guy, $1.88 each. And then we have been struggling to find these Flamin' Hot Ruffles for my older son. We have been looking high and low and near and far, and we finally found them. Here comes little man stealing the Cheez-Its. Okay, we got Cheez-Its. Those were $2.78. He's going to take them. The Ruffles were $2.98 each. I really do not like to pay that much for them, but we went ahead and grabbed two because we don't know if or when we're ever going to see them again. The Doritos Dynamite, we got those, and I think those were $2.98 as well. And let's go down here. The kidney beans, these um, we're going to be using for recipes like um, curries and stuff, chilies. 
those were a dollar 29 a pound and we got just under four pounds for about five bucks we got some coffee here. This is Colombian dark roast. We always like super dark coffee. This is $6.98 a pound, and this was three quarters of a pound. My older son really likes pizza um, bagels for snacks or dinner or whatever. I've noticed that everywhere we go, the pizza bagels are more expensive lately. They're about $9, and sometimes we could get them on sale for 7 something. So we went ahead and um, stocked up because we already have some in the freezer, but we want to make sure that we don't run out because that's something that he really likes. We got three pounds of onions, and those were a $1.48. Just looking, yep, $1.48. Five pounds of the russet potatoes for a dollar seventy-eight, and two big yams. Those were a dollar twenty-eight a pound, and we got two and a third pounds for that. Um, oh, that's funny. That came out to exactly three dollars. Interesting. Um, and then we have back here a bunch of canned stuff. We got twelve cans of the petite diced tomatoes. And those were 48 cents per each, which I thought was awesome. So we really stocked up on those. And that was a total of $5.76 for those. And we found these fruit cups with no added sugar. They are um, sweetened with stevia. And my youngest son loves fruit cups. I'll probably have to give him one here in just a moment. And those were... They were around like five bucks. I am not finding them. Okay, I found it. That was five seventy eight, and those at Walmart have been like seven bucks lately, and about around five or six is their usual price. So really, things are really going up in certain areas. Got the Rosarita vegetarian refried beans. They were on sale for eighty eight cents. We do have a little bit in the pantry but I wanted to stock up and um pretty much all of their canned vegetables were 48 cents so I got two of the corn and that's everything there um we got some bread so two of the bagels and those were each 248 and then the bread was a dollar 78 Okay, the last thing over here is this marinara sauce. It has no added sugar, which we really like. And um, that was $2.98. I had to use this other side of our um, countertops today. Don't mind that coffee splash over there. <laughs> so we had to get some more ramen and um this was 4.98 and that has i think it's 24 in there yeah 24 for about five bucks and then we got the chow mein stir fry we thought we would have that with some um peanut sauce and that was a dollar 89 uh, my husband and daughter love these chimichangas, and these have been going up a little bit in price as well. And they were three, three eighty, I think. They were three eighty three. Over here, we have my husband's seltzer water. I do help him with some of this, but he mostly drinks it. This LaCroix was on sale, and I thought that was super cool. Um, hibiscus flavor, and none of these are sweetened at all, which he loves. So $4.48 for the LaCroix, and then Winco has their own brand. They have lemon and black cherry. They did have a few other flavors as well, and those were each $3.28. And lastly over here, we have this new kind of taquitos. 
when I was not vegetarian, I used to love the chicken, the, I think they're called Southwest Chicken Taquitos, and they were so yummy, but um, these ones don't have any meat, so we're going to try them and see how they go. Um, my older son said he would try them as well, so we'll see how they go. If anyone here has tried them, if you want to let us know how they are and what you think of them, we would appreciate that. Thanks. All right, here is the very last of my grocery haul. You guys, I got so much stuff today. I just love going to Winco because you get so much. Like, it was a full cart, and as you can see, it's just so much. And it was $161.55. Anyway, I'm just excited. So we got two of these tofu. These were each $1.98. And we got those for like doing stir fries and stuff. And um, yeah, mostly stir fries, but we might fry them up and have them with something else. Um, the classic romaine, that was $1.98. Um, seems like it should be cheaper, but anyway, that it's a little bit um, nicer than just the iceberg. And so that's just to kind of have on the side if we don't want to have our frozen broccoli or whatever. The raspberries were on sale for $1.98, and they actually look pretty decent. Um, they look like they're kind of a nice deep color, and they should be pretty good. We got some at Walmart, and I don't think I showed that recently, but they were a fair price, um, and they're just kind of sour. My son hasn't been eating them, so I'm glad to try these ones for him. We got this Daisy Sour Cream in the Squirtable Pack for my older son. Um, I have been trying to perfect a Taco Bell um, potato recipe. If I do get that, I can take a video of it and show you guys. But they have sour cream on top and he thinks that the yogurt, which I use here, is um, I use that for sour cream, but he thinks that that's too sweet, has too much of a sweet flavor, so he doesn't like it. So he's going to use that with his cheese sauce, and that was $1.98, like I said. The heavy cream was $2.23, which I thought was a super good price, actually. It's usually more than that. It's usually like three or so. The yogurt was $3.21, and that's the um, plain Greek yogurt. I really like that brand. Um, it's just really good, and I think the stats on it are fair as well. Oh, you know what? The um, non-fat is actually a lot more protein and less fat. So if that's something that you care about, you can get that. But this is just a really creamy, delicious, like I use it as a treat or like sour cream. Whew, almost done. So we have the string cheese. I really stocked up on the string cheese. Um, there are 48 pieces, I guess, here for $11.52. They're $2.88 each. And I got two little zucchini for doing some, um, we're making green um, enchiladas with these, so they're going to be like with salsa verde. And I'm going to chop these up with probably some onions and some white beans and maybe some other vegetables and make the inside of the, or the enchilada filling, and then it's gonna be covered with um, salsa verde. Because a while back, Walmart gave us a huge thing of salsa verde, and we're having a hard time finishing it off. So we're gonna use that kind of as a enchilada sauce. And I got this um, cucumber for 90, eight cents it's the english cucumber and i thought i would either slice it up and put a little like salt and pepper on it have it as a snack and maybe some of it just kind of slice it up and put it in some ice water make it nice and refreshing um the cheese my older son likes to take a cheese sandwich with him to school and so that is helpful and that was 422 for that so I believe that is everything and I wish I could um, expand and show you everything but there's all this stuff over here had to move these guys over here and then the rest of everything here so 
Yeah, probably one of my biggest hauls that I've showed you guys as far as amount of things. I know Costco, we've spent a lot more, but um, yeah, it just reminds me again that I've got to go to Winco more because they've got so much great stuff, great prices, and yeah, that's it. So next haul will probably be next week. Well, you know what? They had a few things. Hold on. I knew I forgot something. I forgot this two pounds of shredded cheese. So this was, um, I put down my receipt, but it was just under, it was like six fifty four, I want to say. Anyway, that was kind of a fair price. And so I thought I would just grab one to make sure that we have enough cheese. All right, so that's really it then. Okay guys, I thought I would just take a look at you. <laughs> so there was a few things that we forgot, like some goldfish and I can't remember what else, but a few things that Winco didn't have. So I am going to place a little Walmart pickup and so I'll probably just do a really short video to show you guys that and just kind of throw it in um, in a couple days. And then um, we'll probably start back with next week doing the super sales at Albertsons and stuff. So um, anyway, and oh, also I just wanted to thank everyone for subscribing. I'm almost at 150 subscribers and it's just really exciting. Um, anyway, thanks guys. See you next time.